the circle. The wheel keeps turning. So the embassy burned down. Was the embassy attack a response to the imprisonment of the blind sheik? Well, I don't know. Somebody's asking that. Let's go to Sean on KLIF, a powerhouse blowtorch station out of Dallas, Texas. Sean, I'm so happy to have you on the Savage Nation. What's on your mind? Yeah, Doc, thanks a lot. First time caller. Uh, I just had a question, and then I also have a, a prediction. Uh, my question was, you know, I, I've heard of, you haven't heard anything about the blind sheik. You heard a lot about him, and then the embassy uh, disaster happened, and you don't hear anything about that anymore. And I'm wondering if the two of those are related at all or whatever happened to Well, them. it's interesting you should mention it because on September 19th, 2012, the Fox News had a headline, DHS report warned last week of a call for burning the embassy down in Cairo, not Libya, okay? And it was related directly to the blind sheep. Sheik. Blind sheep? The blind sheik. The blind sheep. The blind sheep of America who are voting for Obama. But this is not a laughing matter. I mean, the burning of the embassy in uh, Cairo, Egypt, they say was related to the, the imprisonment of the, of the blind sheik. But... Listen to this one now. Embassy attack response to imprisonment of blind sheep question mark days before the deadly attack on the U.S. consulate in Libya. A statement incited. A statement was related to the uh, jailing of the uh, of the sheik. So, you know, this is a, a story that keeps evolving, Sean. Of course, these people are fanatic. Of course, the Islamic militants are on the war path. And of course... They will do anything they can for vengeance. Is it related to Benghazi? I don't know the answer to that. But we, we shouldn't forget that the the attack on the Libyan embassy occurred on 9-11. How in the world could, could Obama not understand that all embassies around the world should have been uh, uh, fortified prior to 9-11? How could he not understand that? And the answer is quite simple, because he actually thinks that he's changed the minds of the Islamic radicals. He thinks that by kowtowing to the uh, to the Arab street, they like him more. He doesn't understand who he's dealing with. I don't believe. He understands it. I believe that this is an example of an academic egghead disconnected from the realities of the world. Believe it or not, as tough as he is, as smart as he is, as ruthless as he is, and as politically savvy as he is, I actually believe they're naive when it comes to other actors on the world stage, Sean. Well, I hope well, it's naivete and not evil genius. It's uh, I try to well, keep a you know, I hear what you're saying. See, I'm not going to go there where he's playing for the other team. Although I'm a fan of the uh, television show Homeland. You know that show? Where, oh, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. And many of you fear that, right? I mean, that's what you're alleging. Isn't that what you're saying, Sean? Well, uh, that's what I, I, I'm, I'm insinuating. But, uh, again, you know, I'm not making that statement. But that does Well, it's not late enough at night. For, no, if it was a show that began at midnight, I would accept that call and we'd talk about it for an hour. And we'd play some weird music, like, you know, some space music. But uh, since the show uh, originates 9 p.m. on the East Coast... And 6 p.m. on the West Coast, we're not going to get into conspiracy talk tonight. But I don't think you're alone in that, incidentally. There's an awful lot of people in America, particularly ex-military, particularly police, who have suspicious minds who fear that we could have people playing for the opposing team in very high places. Isn't that what you're saying? No. Uh, All right. Let, let's, let's, uh, let's let it go uh, at that. Is it related to the blind sheep? We don't know. Do we have the sheeple sounds? I don't think you have that in the, uh, in the, uh, I have it here on my, uh, instant replay. I don't know how to play that. If you want to call the Savage Nation, it's easy to do. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. Uh, 